Camera masks in OBS. They basically just hide bits of your image. Great for doing picture-in-picture -picture stuff. Uh, if you want to mask out your webcam, get a little frame going. And really, they're super easy to make. All you need is just like a black and white image like this. White says, show the image. And black says, hide the image. Pretty easy. There's very quick ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you a better way than the default, basically. But this, this is default. You go on your camera, you hit filters, and then you go image mask and blend. And then you locate your black and white image. Bam. Now you've got a little cropped camera and you can resize it for your gameplay. Pretty good. But hang on. What if I want to resize my camera frame within this little box? I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that when it's like this. But there's a simple fix. First, we're gonna make a group. Right click, add group. And we're gonna call this group camera mask. And we're gonna drop our camera into this group and now, Instead of adding the filter to the camera directly, or we'll add it to the group instead. Image mask and blend. Does anything think, oh, that must be done. Um, no, we're not quite. You see, it's still, even though we put it in the group, it's still moving the mask and the camera at the same time. So to fix this, we just need to add in like a blank frame. So we hit add and then go to color source. And we'll just call this blank. And it'll make a, a color source of your frame size. 1920, 1080 probably unless you're streaming at a weird resolution. I looked at that camera. I realized it's covered up and I'm an idiot. And then you just drop that into your group below your camera. And now it's got the sort of the full frame filled at all times. And so now after we've, you know, positioned our camera where we want it, make us make us super tiny. Look, here we go, we're doing our gameplay. We can resize our camera to make our faces a bit bigger if we need to. Sorted. <laughs> this technique is also super handy if you know exactly where you want your camera frame. Say you have a bunch of other overlays, so you've made an exact frame to slot in nice and neatly. You can, you know, select your already pre-positioned mask, which puts it in slot with all your other overlays. And then you're able to reposition your camera without having to worry about the framing of your mask looking crap. <laughs> Bullshit YouTube sign off. Let me know if you want more.